Imagine I'm at home and suddenly unexpected guests arrive. The first thing I think of is transforming a simple apple into a treat that will impress everyone. My technique starts by slicing the apple into thin slices. Once sliced, I take a bottle cap and use it to remove the core from each slice, giving this preparation a distinctive and elegant touch. Then I heat a pan and add a generous portion of butter, spreading it gently over the surface with a kitchen brush. Next, I sprinkle a tablespoon of sugar over the melted butter which will create a delicious caramel that will pair perfectly with the sweet flavor of the apples. Now it's time to carefully place the apple slices in the pan, lining them up neatly. Meanwhile, I'd love to know which country or city you're watching from, so I can send you a special greeting in our next recipe. In a separate bowl, I mix one egg with a quarter cup of white sugar, half a cup of oil, and one cup of room temperature milk. This liquid mixture is stirred until the sugar is completely dissolved. This step is crucial as it will give a smooth and juicy texture to our upside down apple cake. The recipe we are preparing is truly delightful and surprisingly simple to make. I'm sure you'll love the final result. Once the sugar is completely dissolved in the liquid mixture, I add one cup of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I mix everything again until I get a homogeneous and silky batter ready to be poured over the apple slices. Uh, at this point, if you're still with us, we really appreciate your interest in this recipe. Now we take the pan to the stove, cover it and cook on low heat for 30 minutes. It's essential to maintain a low flame to prevent the caramel from burning. After these 30 minutes of cooking, we carefully flip the upside down apple cake onto a plate. We cover it again and let it cook for an additional five minutes on low heat. And so our apple upside down cake made with simple ingredients, but with love and passion is ready to be enjoyed. I encourage you to try this recipe at home. And if you do, share your rating from zero to 10 to let us know how you like the result. Thank you for staying with us until the end of this recipe. And I hope you enjoyed the process and of course, the result. We hope to see you soon on our next culinary adventure.